Hey guys, this is presenting Brian with Y um, from the Bro Pit. Um, I'm here as Stock Bro to update and follow up on a bro tip. So basically today, the Wall Street Journal, they came out with a statement about three of the, the biggest, three of the biggest tech names in China that trade in the US on the NASDAQ. Um, Tencent, Alibaba, and Baidu. Alibaba is the one that I've been pushing for a while, ticker B-A-B-A. -A. Um, Alibaba is the Chinese Amazon, if you will. And it is doing, I mean, the, the, the company has been growing at an insane pace, but it's been sort of mired in a lot of regulatory stuff on both sides, on the from the Chinese and from the US recently. In a so from the, chi the Chinese aspect was the China, the Chinese government has said that they are going to look, so the Alibaba traded as high as $320 a share. Chinese government said that they were going to investigate or they were just going to look into antitrust issues with it. Nothing that's any more irregular than when the US does it to like Google and Amazon. I mean, they have to do that. It's a huge company. Um, so it's pretty much, you know, standard practice, but it hits the tape. People get nervous and then there's uncertainty and a lot of investors are like, you know, I'll wait to, I'll sell my stock and I'll just buy it back once I know, even if I'm buying it back higher, that's okay by me. They don't like uncertainty. Investors do not like uncertainty. One of my core investing principles. So and you can take advantage of that because when everybody's just they just don't like uncertainty whether they have an opinion or not that's going to hold down the stock price and get and that's going to be a buying up that is what i've been seeing in alibaba and because alibaba has had china looking into antitrust then also the u.s has been talking about they need china they need these companies that are listed in the u.s they, they can't expect them to follow gap um the you know the generally accepted accounting principles but they do want to be able to be able to do some sort of audit and make sure that they're on the up and up because it's China. They want to make sure that the books aren't cooked and that they are doing gangbusters and their business is running as as they are putting it forward. So that's something that would take years if there was a problem for them to if 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 if, if they decided to refuse, you know, and, and not acquiesce, which I think they will. And I'm you know, and that's so that's why there's you know you need to have an opinion, and, and that's my I feel strongly about that just from everything I've seen in my 24 years working in this industry. Um, that said, uh, the other thing that was going on was this sort of blacklist, this Pentagon blacklist. So any there was, there's about a dozen companies that the US thinks is cooperating or working with Chinese military and intelligence, and those companies have been blacklisted from the US. There was talk about this about a week or so ago that Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu would be added to this list. Today, Mnuchin came out, the, the, basically the Wall Street Journal said, no, they are not gonna be added. So I, again, I've been pushing Alibaba. I, I was pushing Baidu, B-I-D-U, which is the Chinese Google. I was pushing that last year um, when it was around 120, uh, you know, share this is before COVID or anything. And that is now up to about 240. So that's another stock that I've been pushing hard um, that's done extremely well. That said, all three of these names today rallied Alibaba is the one that is still, you know, far below where it should be trading. Um, and I think one, I think if you get in now, I think you're going to see things start to clear up and you're going to see this stock and I think it'll double. Um, that is it for today, but, uh, you know, keep your eye on it and I will, you know, keep updating you guys with thoughts on anything I see in the market. All right. Thanks. And check us out. If you like this, subscribe to the Bro Pits YouTube channel.